Obviously, when Marissa left, uh, what led you back here? Did you just see the opening, or did they reach out to you? Um, Coach Rayama called Coach Bruno. It was like on a Sunday evening or so, and was like, hey, so Marissa's probably going to get this uh, Boston University job, or yeah, and uh, we want Jasmine back. So then Coach Bruno called me, because <laughs> I was in the office, but then I had left, and then I came back, and he was just like, yeah, no, um, Marissa's leaving, and they want you back at UConn. I was like, wait. What? Are you kidding me? So um, and he's like, you kind of got to wrap your head around this because it's got to move pretty quickly because recruiting is next weekend. So you got to, I'm not forcing you out, but it would be foolish of me and selfish of me to not let you go. This is a great opportunity. I've worked with Coach Ariyama and CD for years with USA Basketball. So, I mean, you'd be in really, really good hands. So from there, we just moved it along. And then, you know, they had to get things going with, like, the paperwork and stuff like that. And then... I was out on the road recruiting the following weekend. As the GA, you kind of you were kind of familiar with things that ran anyway, but obviously it's a totally different role now. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, no, it's, it's pretty different just because as a GA, you kind of sit back and watch a little bit, and you're, like, learning more. Obviously, I'm still learning, but, you know, you're required now to, like, give your opinion on this, give your opinion on that, and um, more obviously involved with recruiting, more stuff on the court, so it's just, like, obviously more responsibility. Right. So it's been... It's been great because I got to see Shay and Marissa do that a lot. So you'll be working with the guards? Mm -hmm. Yeah, with the guards um, and a little bit with the post. We, we're trying to, like, work with our post players on the perimeter and, and whatnot. Right. So um, we're just trying to get more guard skills with everybody. So we'll be working with everyone. What have you seen from Megan as she's making that transition from uh, – freshman to sophomore? It's hard because I don't really have a point of reference because I wasn't here last year, but based off of, I guess, what I saw last year on the floor, she just comes into workouts with a lot more explosiveness, and she's just been more, I don't know, she has like an edge to her, and she's like trying to make it, like, or prove to her and the rest of the team that you know, she's ready to get to work this year. Um, so I watched our team workout because we our team lifts on Sunday evenings, and I was watching it, and then like I went for a run, and it was like kind of raining actually, <laughs> and I get a call from Coach Bruno, and he's like, Jazz, are you still around? And I was like, uh, I went for a run, Coach. I'll be right back. Um, he's like, Well, come back right now. So then like I was like, Okay. So then I'm like sprinting through Chicago, <laughs> Lincoln Park, and just finally make it back to the office. And he's like, Are you all right? And I was like, Yes. <laughs> and so then that's when he told me about. Marissa leaving for VU. Whenever you were running back, what did you think had happened in your mind? I don't know. Like maybe a player got hurt, or like I had forgotten to do something, like call a recruit or something that like I should have told him where he needed to be. But I had no idea. I was just like, I gotta get back. <laughs> Whenever you were told, what was that initial reaction like for you? Do you remember what you were feeling in that moment? Like no way. Like no, no way. <laughs> like this? Are you kidding me? Like it was just. I couldn't believe it, really. I was just like, I knew that, you know, Marissa had potentially wanted to go for that job, but I didn't know who they were even thinking about replacing her with. And so, like, for it to be me, like, it's it was so surreal. I'm so grateful for it. So grateful. How important were those two years away from UConn, not only to develop you as a coach, but to see how some other programs do things? No, it was huge, and it was very detrimental because I, they were two completely different programs. And... You know, Coach Bruno, he likes to play really, really fast. We get up and down, shoot a lot of threes. So, like, that style of play and just how we did things on the recruiting side and um, on the floor. And then, obviously, at Washington, how we did things recruiting, what Coach Neighbors were able to get his players to do and how well they played together. It was just kind of – I needed it as a coach. And so, for me to learn that and then kind of bring it back to here at UConn, we're not going to change up everything that we're doing here, but it's just, like, to have that outside of experience – um, it's kind of it's kind of cool. Do you see anything different in UConn from, I know you didn't leave that long ago, but mm -hmm. from when you left as compared to now? A little bit, yeah, but then at the same time, no, because like, I came back in the office and I was like, oh, we're still doing things like this. We're still doing things like this. Like, not much has changed. So a little bit's changed, but not much. How different, obviously Gino and uh, <laughs> Doug are kindred spirits. Mm -hmm. how, much, how, how much are they different, though? Um, I guess you could say... And I think I told Carl this a while ago. Like, Coach Bruno, he, he like, has his hands in, like, everything. Whereas Coach Ariyama is 
really, really comfortable with, you know, delegating a little bit more, which everybody has their different leadership styles and um, it works for different programs. And, and so, I mean, I think that's like the biggest difference I noticed, but they have like the same style of like the standard that they play at and just the way that they approach basketball and the way they approach life in general. I think they kind of have the same mindset.